Good afternoon, everybody at home. Uh, my name is Kelly Lam. Uh, welcome, bienvenue, and willkommen. Uh, I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Mila, and uh, hopefully everybody is continuing to be uh, safe at home with your families um, and keeping each other company. In the meantime, uh, we're actually here for you. Uh, Mila Live is really about and has been developed to help answer any questions whether you're, you have our products in your home, you're interested in getting products in your home, or you have additional questions about other services that we're currently offering in these very unique times that we all face. Um, and that's why we're here. These sessions, Meal Alive, uh, will cover various topics um, from dishwashers to our various cooking products, to vacuum cleaners, to coffee machines, um, and to our laundry machines as well. We're going to go this week into more depth in each one of those categories uh, and give you more information. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui ont demandé pour avoir des sessions en français, on travaille actuellement d'avoir uh, des sessions dans les semaines qui viennent. So Mila Live is completely interactive. I want to thank all of you that have already who registered and submitted your questions to us. And for those who haven't, as you're watching with us, if there's a specific question you have, you have two ways to send us those questions. If you've logged in through your YouTube account, uh, you can just simply leave us a comment and we'll pick that up. Um, in addition, if you're watching through MilaLive.ca, so that's our site where we're broadcasting from, there's a comment section in the bottom. Just register there and leave us your comments. Um, and we will try to get to every question uh, during the session as much as possible. We'll try to show you um, using the machines. If we can't, uh, rest assured, we will have a product expert respond to you via the comment section or through uh, email if your question is a little more complicated and requires more information. Um, while we're going through this, be sure to visit Milo.ca as well. There's tons of information there. I'll talk more about that at the end. So last week we did an introductory session about Mila's all-new W1 T1 laundry system. Um, and today we've brought back our product expert, Mike. Mike, welcome back. Thank you, Kelly. Um, and we want to actually delve into one very, very particular topic, which is the topic of capacity. As many of you actually had sent in questions around capacity of Mila laundry machines. So, Mike, I'm going to hand it off to you to talk about the, uh, the topic today. Yeah, so I think this is a, a top of mind a subject matter for folks considering Mila laundry care. Um, and that is simply because when you compare the form factor of a Mila laundry system to perhaps what you're used to in the North American marketplace, you'll notice immediately that, um, yeah, the footprint is certainly a smaller one. So we're here to debunk the misnomer that's commonly associated with Mila laundry systems that they are perhaps too small. Mila, if you missed last week's session, uh, has a long and storied past with Fabricare uh, solutions in the home. Uh, we've been around as a company since 1899 and one of the first domestic appliances we ever made right at the turn of the century was quite literally our, our laundry systems. Mm -hmm. So with well over a century of, of expertise in the subject matter, uh, we've been able to really hone in on the key elements of what it takes to provide you with good laundry care in your home. And right at the top of the pyramid, if you will, is obviously a commitment to quality. Uh, meal laundry systems are certainly tested and designed basically for a, a lifespan of, of 20 years of use. And so that's um, prevalent throughout our entire lineup. Uh, the, I say, secondary fundamental core principle with meal laundry care is just that. It's, it's fabric care. Uh, and so you're going to get a quality product that's essentially going to deliver amazing wash results because you need your clothes clean at the end of the day. But we want to deliver those results to you in a way that's going to care for your fabrics. Um, and, and really, over time, uh, with the innovations that we see within meal laundry systems that have taken place over the better part of a century, um, that care is delivered to you. Innovations like our twin dose uh, detergent dosing system that automatically doses 
the right amount of detergent at the right time in the wash cycle. Our proprietary honeycomb drum in both the washer and the dryer, which we'll take a quicker, a closer look at in a minute. Uh, water control systems that prevent floods in your home. Um, the mixing of temperature at the right time in the wash to deliver amazing wash results. But let's face it, we're here today to talk about capacity. Yeah. So first of all, Mike, I see we have lots of laundry around us right now. So I want to thank you for actually doing my laundry for me today or helping yep. out. So that, that's great. Thanks. My pleasure. Don't <laughs> tell my wife. Okay. So as far as capacity goes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just getting back to form factor, the Mila laundry washers and dryers basically come in a 24 inch width. Um, the standard North American uh, washers and dryers are typically around 28 to 29 inches in width. Uh, mm -hmm. And also from a height perspective, you'll notice that the washers and dryers in a Mila lineup uh, are rest of world standard. So they're not built to a North American standard, they're built to basically the rest of the world standard. And that is to be able to fit a washer and dryer underneath the countertop, perhaps even in a kitchen. Mm -hmm. The rest of the world uh, doesn't necessarily have access to large laundry rooms or dedicated rooms where you can do laundry and so this um, approach m means that you can drop your washer or dryer in a kitchen um, oftentimes in a stack configuration so meal laundry as you see it here is side by side but can be stacked with the addition of a stacking kit and the dryer always goes on top of the washing machine but so it, but I think Mike it's you know it's it's not necessarily always about losing capacity, because I'm not sure you will, a lot has to do with efficiency, and I think you'll talk about that throughout uh, the session today. Very important component uh, to the way we're approaching fabric care. Mm. Um, if you look at a, a traditional top load washing machine that perhaps you were exposed to in your youth growing up in North America, you would have seen a big top loading machine with a central agitator. And believe it or not, that's still amongst a very prevalent uh, technology that's in use today and, and, and sold through retailers everywhere. Very inefficient from a water consumption perspective. We're talking upwards of 150 liters per wash. Uh, from a fabric care perspective, <clears throat> uh, very damaging to your clothes when you have a central agitator and your f clothes are forced to roll around inside of a, an agitation cycle like that. So there's an efficiency side of things that's perhaps not the greatest, but also from a fabric care perspective, not the greatest. Now. When it comes to actually washing your clothes and fabrics in a Mila washing machine, it's important to tether that together with fabric care over time. And so if you're looking to care for your fabrics, this is gonna be the solution and it's gonna go hand in hand with the capacity in the machine. They're rated for eight kilograms. This is a metric by which the rest of the world uses to measure how much laundry you can put in a washing machine. And Mila at eight kilograms is right at the top of the range in class. So what does that mean, Mike? You keep talking about kg and capacity. Well, when you actually open the, and we have a washer here that's from our W1 lineup. I'm gonna show you what eight kilograms of laundry can look like. Uh, we have essentially a, looks like a, a load of towels that have, have been washed. And now we're gonna be removing this, this towel from this washing machine. Now, it's a big towel. It's, uh, it's essentially the equivalent of, of 13 bath towels sewed together. And, and I think, Mike, if you were to walk this through, we could actually get to the other side of the showroom with... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... with this... Oh, okay, so uh, an example of the kind of capacity that we're talking. Now, uh, we say eight kilograms, mm -hmm. uh, but from a cubic foot perspective, which a lot of North American consumers will ask because that is a key metric. It's never gonna be as big as perhaps uh, some of the conventional North American large format laundry systems, but there is roughly about two and a half cubic feet of capacity within the washer. And in the dryer, roughly just about four and a, four and a bit cubic feet in the dryer. Now, is that enough for you on a daily basis is the question. And when you tether that capacity with fabric care and laundry sorting. Well, because at the end of the day, I think that's what's important to everybody out there is washing your clothes properly and taking care of your clothes to make sure that it lasts as long as possible. I think to me, those are 
two most important factors. 100%. So if you're looking to wash clothes, like perhaps you did when you were in college and you would put everything in a gunny sack and run it to a laundry mat and shove everything in and not worry about separating by color or care instructions or fabric or textile, then certainly um, this is not going to meet your needs. But if you're actually interested in the long-term preservation of your clothes and textiles over time, it's absolutely going to fit the average size family. We, we say up to about five people in your family. This is going to meet your needs. Um, and so from a capacity perspective, you want to think about or rethink the way you perhaps have done laundry in the past. And that means sorting your laundry by like textiles so that perhaps your jeans are not in with your bath towels. Uh, your t-shirts are together with light cotton, so you can wash your t-shirts and mm -hmm. socks, no problem. But we would ask that from a long-term fabric care perspective that you separate as much as possible. The other important variable there is color. You don't want yeah, to absolutely. put uh, your darks with your grays or your, your whites, for example. So by nature, we're uh, in the laundry and fabric care business, and so we would ask that folks adopt a sorting principle. And when you do that, at the end of the week, you'll find you'll have multiple loads exactly. separated by color and by textile. So we have a couple of examples. We had a load of beach towels or, or bath towels that we pulled out. And you're saying that's roughly equivalent to 13 towels. Yeah. Which is more than an average household, I would say, goes through. You know, if you're saving up for the end of the week, yeah, maybe. But you know, for those of us that wash on a more regular basis, that, that's a lot of capacity. Yeah, for folks with the luxury of being able to do more frequent loads, absolutely no problem. But you can certainly batch that so that on a Saturday morning, if that happens to be laundry day, 100%. Our washing machines have load sensing technology within them. So if I'm washing 13 beach towels or my favorite pair of jeans because I'm going out tonight, the machine will adjust the wash characteristics, but also the consumption values, both on the water side and then... The detergent side as, as well. The detergent side as well, especially when you're talking with integrated automatic detergent dosing and uh, lightly soiled items. So uh, 13 beach towels, we've talked about laundry sorting. We uh, also want to talk about, you know, when you introduce meal of laundry care into your home, you find yourself uh, opening a door onto things that perhaps you typically would not have thought as uh, mm -hmm. capable of home laundry. Um, dress, uh, dress shirts is a perfect example. Um, so if, uh, if we take a look inside the drum, one of the elements of fabric care that we really like to talk about is that honeycomb drum, less perforations, there's a nice sheen of water that's promoted through those honeycomb um, um, patterns that's formed on the inside of the drum. And that in the tumbling action basically cushions something like my dress shirts, for example. Now, we're back to capacity. So I've sorted my dress shirts. Kelly, how many dress shirts do you go through in a week? Well, at least one a day, if not more. On the weekend, I like to change it up. So let, let's say a good you know, 10 to 12 a week. Right. And Be so, careful with my shirts, by the way. <laughs> yep, no, they're nice. I'm glad you pre-washed them for me. Thank you very much. So we're gonna just load up. Um, we're gonna make sure that they're nice and loose. And literally, we are going to throw my third, four, five, six. And because they are dress shirts, um, I don't want to pack the machine too much. Uh, sure, we could because yeah. it is an eight kilogram machine. And there's roughly about um, four kilograms, not even. This is about three kilograms of, of dress shirts. But uh, what's the... Worst thing about washing dress shirts at home? Wrinkles. Right. So uh, our machine has, all our machines basically in our W1 lineup have dress, share, uh, dress shirts programs that are designed to wash dress shirts and blouses. Uh, take care of a drum rhythm that's going to promote good washing results, but also decrease on the amount of, of creasing. But I, but I think even if you look at our programs themselves on the machine, Mike, it already kind of encourages and helps consumers to actually sort even if you look at the programs alone and try to follow those programs from like you said the dress shirt program or if i look at the outdoor program you know it'll help yeah so it, it, it exactly it is there to kind of shepherd you along the path to good quality fabric care 
Having said that, if, uh, for example, you do not have the patience or the trust in sure. perhaps your partner to take the same kind of care in sorting, um, you're still going to get amazing wash results and better, much better than average. So um, from a fabric care perspective, you're taken yep. care of. And if you can add the added kind of care and attention to sorting by textile, uh, care label instructions, and also by color, you'll find that your loads on an, a weekly basis are fine and very manageable with the capacity of an eight kilogram washing machine. Uh, the dress shirts program is, again, tailor-made for good drum rhythms and water levels um, to basically cushion your clothing and get amazing wash results. The spin speed is tailor-made for mm -hmm. um, the uh, extraction of moisture, but also anti-wrinkling uh, capability. Yep. And then um, in the 660 machine, we have a soft steam option, which actually helps with another anti-crease mm. feature right. uh, to prevent all the buildup of creases um, in your dress shirts. Which, which is, I think, really quite unique in the sense of, you know, I think we've heard a lot of other machines where the steam function is actually in the dryer, per se, um, but actually the fact that we have the steam function in, in the washer to kind of be proactive in regards to uh, the aspect of wrinkling. That's, that's absolutely right. So now that we've washed our um, dress shirts, an important component is the drying piece. And our T1 dryers are second to none when it comes to fabric care. Um, they're heat pump dryers. Uh, we covered that in our last segment. And yeah. it's a key distinction for us folks, both from an efficiency perspective and also from a fabric care perspective. A conventional dryer will heat, superheat, in fact, the fabrics um, in your dryer to basically extract as much moisture. With a heat pump dryer, you're never exposing your dress shirts, textiles, blouses, uh, hand wash items uh, to that kind of super heat. So I'm just going to take my dress shirts now. Now, now keep in mind, these haven't been, been wet, obviously, but anything you fit in a washer, the dryer is always going to have more room for more air to promote that drying. And I've emptied out my washer. Keep in mind, both the washer and the dryer have LED lights um, and give you a good visual of what's happening inside your washer so you don't leave any socks from your prior <laughs> load in there with your dress shirts. Um, <clears throat> the dryer, uh, I'm just going to show you here, Kelly, has obviously a normal program, which is very commonly used, yep. uh, but it also has a, a dress shirts dress program. Dress shirts program, that's right. So um, I'm just going to turn this on here now so that we can set up later. It's asking me to uh, set up the Wi-Fi. Okay, dress shirts program. Um, we have some wash options, and I selected dress shirts. Anti-crease, again, is a really cool feature where at the end of the cycle, the machine will um, turn over your load to for a number sure. of minutes so that you don't have uh, wrinkles and creases setting in. Uh, let's start it up, actually, and see what this sounds like. Now, uh, a W1 T1, the T1 dryer runs on 120 uh, volts. So even without a dryer plug in behind, yeah. we're standard wall plug, we're able to basically uh, dry our load. Well, it's amazing that you and I can actually converse normally with the sound aspect of things because it's, 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 it's drying. Yeah, it's drying. That's amazing. Of course, the clothes are dry. The sensors within the dryer sensing, right. are looking for residual moisture. And of course, they're going to return a result that says, hey, your clothes are dry and it's going to stop quite quickly. Yeah. Now, you'll notice also the Energy Star uh, labels on the front of both the washer and the dryer. Um, very few uh, dryers have an Energy Star label on it because typically they are energy uh, drains on the household, energy bill at the end of the month, uh, and T1s are certainly the exception. So Mike, I know we talked last week a little bit about, as you were talking through some of the features benefits programs, um, you know, we talked a little bit last week about Mila and Mobile. Uh, so with our W1 T1 uh, models, uh, certain models come with Wi-Fi accessibility. Um, what are some of the benefits of, of Mila and Mobile? 
Well, uh, more and more people demand to have uh, an interface with their smartphones that can engage with uh, different appliances and electronics in the home, uh, the television, and more so, uh, it's a trend in household appliances. And so with uh, Mila at Home, we're able to basically have an app where you can um, check on the status of, for example, the wash time remaining in your wash. Uh, so that you can go down and move it perhaps to the dryer so you can have a continuous flow to your day as opposed to saying, oh my God, I left right. uh, two hours ago, my wash and the washer are going to move to the dryer. You can get those notifications, check on the status of, for example, your auto dose detergent, where you're at as far as having to perhaps reorder. So um, it really is a, a, a great way to kind of connect you with the appliances around you in your home and ultimately save you time. Great. Um, denim and jeans. Jeans. Every household nowadays has, like, especially if, if uh, I have two girls, and uh, the number of pairs of jeans that go through our household are tremendous. Uh, it, it, it's a very popular, obviously, fashion item. They've never gone out of style. But have gotten really expensive as far as, you know, I want to make sure they last. Because it's, it, yeah. they, you know. Yeah, you can't, you can't get away with uh, $30 Wranglers anymore. Uh, the designer jean is, is here to stay, I think. Uh, and it's not unheard of to spend two $300 on a pair of jeans. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say that these are that. But uh, these are um, definitely worth caring for. Um, and so if you are doing the math at around $200 for a pair of jeans and... <clears throat> if we put in 10 pairs of designer jeans. Yeah, that, that's one expensive investment. I'm not good at math, Kelly, but <laughs> um, that's quite the... How many, how many pairs are you putting in there? It's like... Uh, we're about um, seven, eight. And again, jeans, you want to wash like colors. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily mix a pair or, uh, or load of jeans with other fabrics, the blue indigo tends to run, um, but certainly uh, you can load in a denim and jeans program, which we also have. Right. Uh, you can load, we like to say around five to six kilograms, which roughly translates to what we see here, which is um, 10 pairs of And And really, if I jeans. look at that, you know, if, since we're talking about capacity, Mike, I don't see any issues with capacity with 10 pairs of jeans uh, in our machines. Right, and, and so uh, the machine will wet the fabric uh, at the end of a load after a spin cycle. We extract a lot of that moisture anyway, which right. makes it great for system drying with T1. But absolutely, you can um, get 10 pairs of jeans in here. And really, I have trouble believing that in right. a week's worth of time that you can wear 10. Well, and, and you mentioned that, you know, it, it, it very much is an interaction between the washer and dryer because, you know, looking at the interface, I can see that on the washer, there is a darks and denims program, but on the dryer itself, there's also a matching denims program. So really, I think we're trying to give consumers the best results, not just from a washing standpoint, but, you know, as an overall cycle, which includes drying in most cases. Really, and it takes the guesswork out of those variables. Like yeah. how much water, what temperature should it be at? How fast should the spin speed be? Uh, same thing in the dryer. How hot should I be able to be allowed to go with my denim programs, for example? Um, what kind of residual moisture should be the default setting for my denim and jeans? So uh, we've taken that guesswork out. Select the rotary knob to denim, uh, and then on the dryer, the same thing. Mm -hmm. And you can rest assured that from a mechanical action, wash results, fabric care perspective, you've got the maximum kind of uh, benefit um, fabric care um, wise. But, but I think that goes you know, back to your very initial point is you know, if, if we really look at investing a small amount of time in properly kind of caring for our clothes, um, you know, and this, you know, with example of denim in the washer, denim in the dryer, there is more than enough capacity to handle a household of easily five people right. on a weekly basis. Yeah, and also I just want to harken back to our sustainability piece because 
uh, the units themselves, you may say, if you're washing six or seven loads, I could have done that in three in a big machine. Right. Well, from a water and energy perspective, uh, you're going to end up at least on par, if not better, from both a water perspective and energy consumption right. perspective. Heat pump drying, tethered together with our load sensing technology here, you're going to get that. Plus the added benefits of having your fabrics, denim, last longer, last up to four times longer. Right. So the impact of having to purchase new clothing, fast fashion, it's a big environmental no-no as well. So yeah. if you want to care for your fabrics over the long term and you're concerned about sustainability as well, that's certainly a metric that needs to be considered. Great. Okay, so uh, basically uh, just a quick overview on our washers and dryers. We have in our washing lineup, we have four different washers. Our starting tier washer at around $2,000, all the way up to our W860 machine with uh, dual circulation pumps and Wi-Fi connect, and of course our integrated auto dose detergent. Uh, we've talked about ultra phase one and two, it's a two step approach, the washing machine, depending on the level of soiling and whether or not you've determined if it's whites or coloreds, will dispense the detergent for optimal results. We'll talk about that maybe in a future session where we actually dive mm -hmm. into the chemistry. Yeah, and I think we, we will have that session definitely coming up where we're gonna bring your expertise back to cover that off to really understand a little bit, how do those work together and the importance of when they get dosed actually into the machine itself during a wash cycle. So we'll absolutely get into that. Cool. And uh, in addition, for folks who are, uh, have sensitive skin mm -hmm. or uh, develop a reaction to perhaps conventional detergent, we also released uh, late last year this sensitive uh, ultra phase one and two uh, solution basically for, for detergents that um, basically provide you with the optimal kind of benefits of not having uh, maybe that reaction that you would typically have with normal or conventional detergents. Um, and uh, yeah, then we have our cap dosing and fragrance flacons that we can talk about perhaps in another session as well. Uh, absolutely, because I want to make sure that time has actually flown by in this session, um, but we actually have some questions, Mike, if uh, you don't mind uh, that we try to get to. So uh, we have uh, Esther Haynes. Esther, uh, thanks for watching us today. Um, Esther has a couple of questions uh, for you, Mike. Um, first question is, uh, clearly, Esther, you have a dog. Um, and can you wash your dog bed in, in our machines? Yeah, so I've seen some pretty big dog beds out there, Kelly. So I would uh, hate to issue a blanket statement. Um, it depends how big the dog and therefore the, the dog bed. <laughs> Um, if you can uh, fit it in here, uh, generally speaking, um, we would like to say that a queen size comforter fits in uh, a Milo laundry system. And so uh, if your dog bed is equivalent in volume, um, obviously not in shape, but in volume, then certainly uh, a dog bed can be washed in here. You would remove the cushion perhaps and uh, give it a go. Uh, you may run into issues on the spin cycle from a load imbalance perspective depending again on size of the dog bed um, but there's no harm in trying the machine itself has really good cast iron counterbalance and great suspension system uh, so if you're uh, able to fit it in here and minimize perhaps the spin speed in the final spin uh, you you perhaps Esther will be able to achieve that um, I've washed my dog's bed at home, but my dog is, is nine pounds, and so perhaps not a, a, a fair statement. So uh, Mike, you, you quickly mentioned spin speed. So um, can Esther actually control the spin speed and reduce the spin speed uh, if she needs to? Yeah, Esther, so you, you can actually reduce it. Uh, the top uh, uh, side of the speed equation is 1,600 revolutions per minute, and you can get that right down so, so that there's no spin whatsoever so that you just benefit from the wash and then you can have it air dry if you want or put it in your dryer and give it a go. I would perhaps recommend an air dry at that point because there'll be a significant amount of moisture within the dog bed. Uh, and then from a sanitization perspective, just keep in mind that our machines uh, go up to about 75 degrees Celsius on the hot side. Uh, so from a sanitization perspective, that's pretty amazing. 
uh, to get that hot. So actually that leads into Esther's second question, that was perfect, Mike, is sanitizing. So uh, Esther is a vet technician. Um, is there a way that she can sanitize her scrubs uh, after, after work? Yeah, 100% uh, Esther. So we, right on the front of uh, most of our machines, we have a sanitize program that defaults to the absolute highest temperature uh, that you can get in a Miele washing machine, which is right around 75 degrees Celsius in our W1 washers. Um, and that is, I think, more than um, uh, most domestic washers uh, in the marketplace today. And I've heard of examples of, of ER nurses that mm. wash their scrubs at home. And if you're, you're dosing the right detergent in there, um, the extraction of those, uh, that organic material comes out no problem. And from a sanitization perspective, we go back and study our laundry in a testing lab and see that yep. blood and other organic material mm -hmm. come out quite nicely in a sanitized program. Okay. Perfect. Um, so lots more questions. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get them all. Mike, I'm going to throw you a couple more okay. uh, if you don't mind. So uh, one question is, you know, we always talk about the washer and dryer. Um, but one viewer is asking the question, if, if my dryer is fine and I only need to replace the washer, um, is that possible? Uh, I, absolutely. It's, it's completely possible. They work well as a system, but that doesn't mean that you can't purchase the dryer uh, or the washer. Uh, the washer is great because uh, it's got really high spin speeds, and that means that when the moisture is extracted in the washer, that means less work for the dryer, so really good hand in hand. But let's say um, your washer has failed and you want to replace it with a Milo washer or vice versa, you can certainly do that. Uh, obviously, the ideal is a pair scenario, but they're completely interchangeable. Okay. And uh, from an energy and installation perspective, also very flexible. They're standard 120 volt NEMA plugs, so there really is no issue there as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw you one last question just in the interest of time. So again, for those that unfortunately we couldn't get to, uh, we will be sure to leave the answers for you in the comments or again, if your question's a little more detailed, we'll have a product expert respond to you via email. Um, we talked obviously about load size today, really focused on kind of debunking that myth, as you said, of, of the perception of capacity. Um, one question on you know how often do I do my laundry is how often do I need to clean the lint from the filters, and how would I do that actually? Yeah, I would. Um, this is a bone of contention at my place because I tend to be the lint filter cleaner guy, and my wife uh, never really goes in there. So uh, that is my job at home. But nonetheless, I would say that after every load, uh, that you check the lint filter, and remove as much as possible. And it's quite easy to do. You would <clears throat> reach into your dryer. You would basically scoop out any lint that's that's caught in here. There's a secondary lint filter as well, which is quite easy to remove as well. And uh, the more frequent that you're cleaning the lint filters, uh, the more efficient and shorter dry times you're going to see as well. Uh, if this gets happen to get clogged, your machine will not run as efficiently. Your dry times will increase. So just make sure this is being cleaned on a regular basis. So I would say after every use, if you ask my wife, maybe after every three or four uses. So. <laughs> no, your wife would say that. You should do it every, after right. every use. So that, right, <laughs> 100%. <laughs> so thanks, Mike, for your time this afternoon. Again, uh, lots of questions coming in. Uh, we will definitely try to get to them. Um, Mike, you know, I think as our viewers are uh, remaining home, as everybody really should be, um, you know, we're ensuring that we practice uh, proper social distancing here while we're doing this for you. Um, what are some of the ways that a consumer can actually go ahead and buy these machines right now if they want to? What type of offers? I know we have some special offers out um, for consumers right now. So let's start with where you can buy. Uh, you can go online, obviously. Uh, Mila.ca is a good starting point. You can also go on our dealer locator page and find a location that may or may not be open depending on what's available out there. In addition to that, we can help you over the phone with an in-person phone consultation. Um, and all our laundry systems are available also on mila.ca for purchase directly as well. Uh, 
the second part of the question was what offers are on right now and uh, we have some really good offers when it comes to calls to action from a promotional perspective currently on all our laundry pairs both the washer and the dryer you're able to receive a $200 savings on each or both the washer and the dryer for a total of up to $400 uh, that's pretty good savings layer that on with a free delivery that's currently available as well uh, nationwide and with that delivery we'll oftentimes be able to do a basic hookup depending on where you are in the country of course some of our services are limited currently mm -hmm. uh, where we're doing threshold deliveries but by and large we can help you through that process in addition to the price off the free delivery we have a free peace of mind warranty where you have the ability to take these into your home for 30 days try them out and see if whether or not you like them uh, and if you don't you can certainly return them um, with no questions asked and, and that's really why we call this promotion our peace of mind promotion because you have the five-year warranty uh, that Mike mentioned and that warranty it's important to understand is actually underwritten by Mila so it's our own warranty so any issues you're actually dealing directly with us with uh, factory trained technicians and original parts um, you have the 30-day uh, money-back guarantee uh, of course again uh, if you try it, you're not happy with it for whatever reason, uh, we will take that back. And then we also have the free delivery. So it really is provide you absolute peace of mind for this. Now, I know, Mike, for the uh, people who live in Ontario, there's a bit of an added uh, benefit through a Ontario energy rebate program from the government. Yeah, for limited time only, uh, for Ontario residents only, um, for deliveries taking place in Ontario, uh, we're able to provide through the federal government rebate program for Energy Star qualified appliances of which both our washers and dryers qualify. Which is really unique for the dryers to actually qualify for Energy Star. Literally a handful. Uh, right, because basically any vented dryer is not, cannot be Energy Star Correct. rated. So uh, with heat pump drying, that's another advantage. So with that uh, federal rebate program, you're looking at an additional savings of both on the washer and the dryer of upwards of $400. I forget exactly. $435 for go. the pair. So, so that's, that's uh, pretty amazing savings. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, great call to action, five-year warranty. That's, that's amazing peace of mind as well. Uh, most manufacturers don't even sell you a free or five-year warranty much less be able to give you one free of charge yeah. so that's a great call to action and again it's important to note that Mila's warranty it's not a third-party warranty uh, that we offer so thanks Mike for that um, you know Mike also mentioned uh, you know again as you're all safely at home I think we're all very uh, aware of the situation we're all in right now um, many of you had questions about services that are currently being offered by Mila so first of all uh, our, our Canadian Contact Center uh, remains open to be at your service. Uh, best to check on Mila.ca for uh, the operating hours. Um, but again, uh, the priority of our, our own staff uh, is very important to us so that the teams are available. They are working remotely. Uh, but uh, for you to call uh, them, they'll be accessible. Our delivery and installation teams are available across Canada. Uh, Obviously, again, due to the current situation, we have revised our procedures to ensure the safety of our customers, um, but again, also the safety of our team here. Uh, so visit Mila.ca, you'll see the exact details as to what those procedures are and some of the changes that are currently in place. Um, if you're having technical service, uh, absolutely, our, our Mila uh, factory uh, service technicians are available as well. Uh, again, with some revised procedures to ensure safety to you uh, as well as our team. So be sure to visit Milo.ca. Um, we also have, as Mike mentioned, the personal product consultation. So not only can you actually get a one-on-one -on -one telephone conversation with one of our product experts that will be able to walk you through any questions you may have, um, but in addition to that, if you are interested in buying a product and you don't see that product on the website, they will actually be able to take the order for you uh, on the telephone during that call. Um, lastly, uh, we have all of our uh, care collection, what we term our care collection products that are best uh, suited for your machines. Mike, I think we have one final offer there uh, for care collection for those of you that are actually watching this particular uh, session right now. 
Yeah, so in addition to the uh, free delivery that we have on all, all our care collection currently, uh, for any laundry care consumables that you're looking to purchase up until 4.30 p.m. Eastern, you can avail yourselves to uh, our additional 10% of savings. Sorry, Mike, that's actually 2.30 Eastern for this offer. <laughs> Thank Just you, Kelly. Sure. <laughs> 2.30 Eastern, that's why uh, we pay you the big bucks. Uh, if you enter the Meal Alive laundry code here on checkout, uh, up until 2.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern, you'll be able to avail yourselves of an additional 10% off on Mila Laundry Care Collection. Yeah, and with free shipping, which is great, uh, even added bonus. So um, lastly as well on Mila.ca, so you'll see the products on there. Um, you know, as we're all at home, we still have family, friends that are having birthdays, anniversaries that we want to continue to try to celebrate, uh, maybe not physically with them, but you know, through FaceTime and other uh, digital means. Uh, we also offer a perfect opportunity as a gift, the Mila e gift card that's available for purchase on Mila.ca. Um, that would be sent to uh, the recipient uh, digitally on your behalf. So that's also available um, and a great time to use that. So uh, I just want to, uh, on behalf of Mike, the, uh, the team at Mila here, uh, we just want to thank all of you for joining us. Hopefully we were able to uh, address some of the questions that you may have. Um, the live stream will continue. We have another session at uh, 3 o'clock today. I think, Mike, you're returning for that session where we're going to cover some, uh, provide information on our cooking surfaces that we offer. And then at 5 o'clock today, we are actually doing a live cooking demo uh, using our Mila combination steam convection oven. Uh, so some exciting dishes going on there. Um, on, in that note, we also will return uh, tomorrow uh, with another series of topics. But at 5 o'clock tomorrow for the first time, we're going to be doing a live uh, Cook With Us session um, where if you go on mealalive.ca, you'll be able to actually see the meal that we're going to prepare uh, live. And if you actually want with your family, get the kids involved, um, you know, get the ingredients. I know sometimes right now that's, that's definitely more of a challenge. Um, but we'd love for you to actually cook along with us, so make sure you go on milalive.ca to find out more about that. Um, and very lastly, before we sign off for the day, um, I just want to take the opportunity on behalf of the Mila family to really thank all the frontline uh, essential workers that are out there today providing services for all Canadians, um, whether it's medical services, ensuring that grocery stores remain open so uh, all of us have a chance to get food into our house. All the restaurants and delivery people that are out there that are servicing the communities uh, all across Canada. It, it's so essential in these times. And uh, honestly, on behalf of our family, we, we definitely want to uh, thank you for that. So we hope everybody has a great afternoon. Um, and uh, if you have a chance, join us for the 3 o'clock session or the 5 o'clock session. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow as well for some new sessions. So thank you very much and have a great day.